Hello there, True Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Royal News and Analysis, guys. This one is going to be extra juicy, so gather around as we dive in. Now, it's another episode of Untold Royal Secrets, and I'm about to drop some Royal Truth Bombs that'll make your head spin faster than Meghan Markle ditching her royal duties, guys. So let me tell you, my loyal viewers, just when you thought the Windsor soap opera couldn't get juicier, Harry's gone and cranked up the drama to 11. We're talking a royal mess so big, it makes the Tower of London look like a Lego set. So what's the latest? The never-ending saga as the crown burns. Well, hold on to your fascinators, because our boy, the Duke of Drama, Harry, is apparently hoping for a minor royal role. That's right, after throwing the entire monarchy under the bus, faster than you can say Oprah interview, He's now got the audacity to ask for a job. Oh, wow. Now, I know what you're thinking. Maybe he's had a change of heart. Maybe he misses his family. Oh, guys, come on, let me break it to you. This isn't about family. It's about reconciliation. It's about cold, hard cash and the sweet, sweet spotlight, according to the role expert, Tom Quinn. And let me tell you, this guy's got more inside scoops than a Buckingham Palace ice cream social. Harry is feeling the heat from his dear wife, Megan. Apparently, she's pushing him to mend fences with the Royals, but before you go thinking this is some heartwarming family reunion story, let me stop you right there. This is all about commercial gains, folks. It's like watching a real-life episode of Succession, only with more corgis and less swearing. Now, let's talk about this minor Royal role Harry's allegedly angling for. What exactly does he think he's going to do here? Cut ribbons at the opening of a new Poundland wave from a balcony once a year? Let's be real. The only role that Harry is qualified to do at this point is Chief Officer of burning some very important royal bridges. But here is where it gets super, super interesting, folks. My friends, our experts are drawing parallels between Harry and Meghan and Edward VIII and Wallace Simpson. For those of you who skipped history, Edward VIII was the king who gave up the throne for love. Sounds familiar. But here's the kicker. Even after Edward ditched the crown and got a few minor roles, apparently Harry has got his eyes on that prize. Now, I don't know about you, but if I just spent the last few years trashing my family on international television, writing a tell-all book that makes the Game of Thrones look tame, and generally being a royal pain in the crown jewels, the royal nuts, I'd probably think twice before asking favours, but not for our Harry. He's got the audacity of a cat asking for seconds after knocking over the fish tank. But let's be real here for a second, folks, because this isn't just about Harry being delusional. Although, let's face it, he's got a PhD in that. This is about a man who's suddenly realizing that maybe he's made a teensy weensy mistake. It's like he's woken up from a long California dream and realized that being royal isn't actually so bad after all. It's not all that bad, especially when the alternative is being just another celebrity in a town that's full of them. And let's not forget the puppet master, Meghie Markle. Oh yes, I'm going there now. I'm not saying Meghan's evil. But if scheming was an Olympic sport, she'd make Machiavelli look like he's playing checkers. The woman has played the long game so well, she makes chess grandmasters look like they're playing tic-tac-toe with crayons, guys. Think about it. Who's benefited the most from all the royal drama? Who's gone from C-list actress to household name faster than you can say Tiara? That's right, our girl Meg. She waltzed into the royal family like she was auditioning for the Princess Diaries 3 Revenge of the Commoner. And when she didn't get the starring role she wanted, she decided to rewrite the whole script. And now, after burning every bridge from London to LA, she's realized that maybe having a royal connection isn't such a bad thing, especially when you're trying to sell overpriced jam and monogram tea towels to bored housewives in Nebraska. But here's the thing, my dear viewers, while Harry and Meg are busy playing little games, the rest of the family is moving on. They're out there doing actual work, you know, the kind that doesn't involve complaining on podcasts. Oh yes, or writing some crazy tell-all memoirs. But here's the thing, my dear viewers. While Harry and Meg are busy playing their games, it's King Charles. He's probably laughing so hard at Harry's request, he's in danger of falling off his crown. William, he's probably too busy being a future king to even notice Harry's latest tantrum. And the rest of the roles, well, according to our sources, they don't even mention Harry and Meg's name anymore. They're just persons who live overseas. Ouch, that's colder 
than a British summer, guys. Just know what the real kicker is here. Harry and Meg are free to come back to the UK any time. They don't need permission from the king. They could hop on a plane if they wanted to, but they don't. And why? Because coming back would mean facing the music. It would mean looking at their family in the eye after all the trash they've talked. It would mean admitting that maybe they made a mistake. And let's be honest, folks, admitting you're wrong is not exactly the Sussex's strong suit. These two have doubled down too many times. They could open a KFC franchise. So what's next for our dynamic duo? Will Harry get his minor royal role? Will Meghan finally achieve her dream of being the next Oprah? Or will they continue to hover on the fringes of relevancy? My money's on the latter. Because if there's one thing that we have certainly learned about Harry and Meghan, it's that they never miss an opportunity to play the victim, even when they're the ones holding the gun. But here's a wild thought. What if Harry and Meg actually apologised? What if they admitted they went too far? Nah, who am I kidding? That's about as likely as the Queen coming back and doing a TikTok dance challenge. So, my dear viewers, let's all take a moment to appreciate the irony. Harry and Meg wanted freedom. They wanted to find themselves. Now they find themselves in the middle of a PR nightmare. And King Charles, if you're watching, and let's face it, you probably are because I am fabulous. Here is some free advice to you, sir. Don't give in. Don't offer Harry that minor role because, let's be real, the only role he's qualified for at this point is to be a massive royal pain in the ass. Exactly, guys. Along with his crazy, crazy lady, the mistress Meghan Markle monster of Montecito. What on earth do you think about this royal news and analysis, guys? This is incredible. We want to hear from you. So if you could, please leave us a comment uh, down below. It would be a massive, massive honor to read what you have to say and get back to you as soon as possible. The heart of the community is what drives this channel. And if you want more content like this steaming hot royal news, then do not worry at all, guys. Don't worry one bit. I'll be back soon with some more ow, scalding, hot, piping hot, epic royal tea. But of course, before closing in, guys, you know the epic drill. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to help us pump up those big numbers and share the video to spread the word. Give the video a like, smash the like button, and also turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop some new royal news and analysis. It really helps us out here at the channel. So we really appreciate that, guys. Help us spread the word. And lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you for listening right until the end and for your enormous love and support. So, well, that brings us to the end of the video. So until next time, guys, we will, of course, see you very, very soon for some more in-depth royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now from me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.